Madonna fans and friends, and welcome to another episode of Diva News. And it's been a little bit, but now we are here. We're at the moment where Madonna has arrived in New York City just this past Friday, and she's looking great, and was with, um, I think, David and the twins, and arrived at JFK Airport. So we are getting very close to the opening night for the North American leg of the tour. And I already have a couple of friends of mine who are going to some of the shows in New York for the Barclays. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And I can't wait to hear the reviews. Maybe I can get a little bit of feedback from them about the shows that they attend and some exclusive photos for you guys. But it's super exciting. Of course, we all wonder, is she going to be changing up the set list a bit? Will there be some differences? I'm not sure on that, just because of the short amount of time in between. Um, I think the last time she did that, there was a lot more space in between on Sticky and Sweet when we got new performances. But anything's possible, and we will see. We will know very, very soon. And, of course, we here are going to be talking about it right after it happens uh, opening night on the 13th, and we'll be giving our thoughts on the show. So let's get into some of the diva news this this particular period. And now we have gotten some information on what she was filming uh, when she was, I believe this was either in Italy or Paris, I think it was Italy, during her stay there. She went to the Opera House and was filming something, and we didn't know what it was. So we, of course, had all kinds of ideas and rumors, including a possible new single, music video. Well, at last, it wasn't meant to be. But it is a new commercial. She has um, joined forces with the Brazilian bank, um, it- Itali, Itali, and she filmed a commercial for that. And it's, it's quite an iconic commercial about her legendary 40-year career and her thoughts on that. I've only seen it a few times, so I'll have to process it a little bit more, but she looks stunning, and of course, it's a very iconic uh, location for this commercial, and of course, there were other rumors that this is tied into an announcement about South America tour dates, so fingers crossed on that, that we will hear more about that in the future, and I just can't imagine why she wouldn't do that. I feel that that is like a definite given after the... uh, North American leg Um, so we will definitely let you guys know the minute we hear about that but that is what she was filming and speaking of being a material girl we just heard uh, preliminary reports from Billboard about the sales so far for the celebration tour and it's pretty amazing she has grossed up to 100 million just for the European leg of the tour so we haven't even gotten to the North American leg yet and I think they're projecting with the North American leg, it'll be over 200 million. I think it could even go higher than that. I mean, a lot of people are still thinking about buying more tickets. And you know how we Madonna fans are. Multiple shows, that's the norm. So I'm looking forward to seeing, along with the extensions, uh, if we get South America and some other locations, what the final tally will be. Uh, but I think it's going to be quite impressive. and. Not that we expect anything less. Madonna is definitely one of the top touring acts of, gosh, I don't know how many years now, the past decade or longer. So uh, just congratulations to her. I mean, we knew this would happen, so it's just, but it well deserved the tour. I also believe was nominated for an award. I'm trying to remember what the name of the awards was. It wasn't like a major one that I, that I'm familiar with, but it's a prestigious one just for the overall uh the show itself you know the production quality that it's it's up there in the top uh in the top four or five tours this year um along with you know taylor swift beyonce and and a few others but just from watching it just from seeing the staging and everything you know just the little youtube screen that i have i can already tell that it's just massive on on that scale so once again congratulations madonna that's so awesome Madonna was also causing the commotion, and I love the fact that we're getting little snippets of that song. Maybe it'll make the cut on the set list for this part of the tour, this league of the tour, but we can just be thankful that we're getting a little bit of it. But she also stepped out to support her son Rocco on a recent art gallery uh, event that he was having. I'm trying to remember, was this in Paris or Italy? 
but she looks stunning, amazing. This tour just gives me vibes in Europe of Blonde Ambition so much. Her look, her style, it's just, uh, it's just a total throwback, but at the same time, it's fresh and new, and it's just, it's so awesome to see her there for her kids. You know, we obviously see some of them on the tour with her, learning about their skills and talents. I always knew that David was doing a lot of different things, but just to hear Mercy on the piano is amazing. You know, that was a big surprise for me. And of course, Esther um, taking taking her rightful spot in the dance in the dance floor there for Vogue. Uh, just, you know, it's, it's great to see them as well being supported by her for their talents as well as them supporting her back. Um, so that's that's just that's just awesome and um yeah so we'll probably see more and more of this as we go through the states um you know her friends coming out supporting her as they have been doing as the ballroom guests you know every night we've seen uh jean paul gautier debbie mazar and many many others so that's something we'll be keeping track of and in other collectible news, I recently heard about this uh, magazine, uh, book or magazine from a friend of mine who I will be talking about in the next uh, next slide. Uh, actually, someone very cool that I got to interview. But he mentioned to me that this was coming out in America, an all Madonna uh, book or magazine. And I have yet to find it um, doing a Google search. But if you guys have any information about this, I'm not surprised considering the North American League is about to start. So we should be seeing lots of magazine covers and collectibles. And it's not like quite like Blonde Ambition Times, but we should be seeing, because there's not as many magazines out there, but we should be seeing some good coverage. So when you see stuff, make sure to let us know in the comments or if you know more about this particular one, that would really help me out because uh, fans are always clamoring for this stuff. We're all looking for it. So it would really help out and I'm going to do my investigating. So if there's anything like, you know, obviously each city is going to have their local publications and uh, she'll be featured, uh, but there'll be some national stuff as well. As I was mentioning in the previous slide, I got uh, the honor actually, it's been such a long time I've known this, this wonderful person that I've met way back in my fanzine days as he also has a fanzine, Jerry Kerbell. And We've known each other a long time, but I didn't realize uh, until recently that he has an exhibition that he's being featured in his native town, Canberra, Australia, and the Museum and Gallery of Madonna memorabilia he has saved over the last 40 years. It's a full exhibition of some of her most iconic items, and it's just incredible to see the photos and to see how everything is put together there. You know, a lot of uh, meticulous detail has been put in place for this uh, exhibition that people can come and see. And I got a chance to ask him a few questions over at Madonna Everybody Fan Club. And so I invite all of you, if you're on Facebook, join our club, Madonna Everybody Fan Club. And it's right up in the announcements. Uh, great interview. Jerry is just so giving of himself and his collection such a joy to be able to share. We all know that our collections are so very personal to us and it's a joy to share them with other fans and also to educate casual fans or people who are younger and may not know as much about the history and the legacy. So we appreciate so much, Jerry, what you have done and how you are sharing with the rest of not just Australia, but the world by being covered um, you know, in the publications. I know he was featured in Stun Magazine as well as uh, local radio stations. And it's just, it's a joy. And so uh, I, I appreciate very much that he allowed me the chance to learn more about it. And so check it out uh, at our club. And uh, yes, this picture is wonderful. I love it. Wish I could be there. I wish I could come and see that, uh, see the exhibition. Also, I want to add on that last one that if you want to find Jerry, he's on Facebook as Jerry BK. And he also has a page called It's All About Flirting, which is his fanzine. You can also find this on Facebook. So definitely check him out. Join his uh, Facebook page for It's All About Flirting. And uh, I would uh, thank everyone again for watching this uh, latest episode. You can find us also uh, besides Madonna Everybody Fan Club on Facebook. You can find us at Madonna The Celebration Tour EFC Hub. 
And this is a good time to join if you're going to the shows in the United States. We have tour chat groups for every single city and location for you to join and plan events with other fans, get-togethers, meetups, and anything else you need to discuss for your location and your shows, as well as all sorts of um, content and other fans in that group. So thanks again, everyone. Let's have fun. Enjoy the United States and North American leg of the tour and definitely comment if you're going where are you going to see her and let's have a great time you guys I'll see you guys for the opening night show in New York all right guys have a good one are you looking for a great Madonna fan club to join we have a place you need to be at at Madonna everybody fan club not only this channel but we also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page titled Madonna Everybody Fan Club. You should definitely come check us out and join. We have contests, fan of the month, features, articles, and a great community for you to get to know and share your Madonna love with other fans. We also would love for you to comment, like, and subscribe on this video and tell us what you think. What do you like to see more of in this channel? We're here for you and Madonna fans rock. So have a great day. Thank you.